Welcome to the IT Shed. In this video, we're going to look at CS50's introduction to programming with Python. Problem set zero, playback speed. Playback speed. Some people have a habit of speaking rather quickly, and it's nice to slow them down. So in a file called playback.py, we're going to implement a program in Python that prompts the user for an input, then outputs the same input, replacing each space with three dots. Or three periods. So if you look at the demonstration here, this is CS50 and the spaces are replaced by three dots. So we're going to make our directory playback, we're going to cd into our directory and then we're going to code playback.py and then we'll submit it to CS50 just for testing. Okay let's start by taking some input from the user. So we're going to use the input function as the inbuilt Python function. I'm going to put a string here that will be read to the user. I'm going to say enter some text. Now this string here will be displayed to the user and be prompting them to enter some text. So I'm going to save that to a variable. I'm going to call the variable play. And as I said in other videos, a variable is just a container. And this variable play is a container that will hold the input that is entered by the user. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called dots. You can call it anything, I'm just calling it dots. And I'm going to assign to that uh, three dots, so a string of three dots, so uh, quotes, and a string of three dots. So it's basically another variable, a container, containing a string. The next thing I'm going to do is create a list. I'm going to create a list called words. And assign that to a list, an empty list. So an empty list is a square brackets. So why do I need a list? Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the text entered by the user. So if the user types in, for instance, uh, welcome to the IT show. Then I'm going to read that back in here into the list and break it up into individual words. So e each of these would be individual words. I'm going to break it up into individual words, as we'll see in a minute. So to do that, we're going to use a Python method called split. Now split is, as I said, a Python method. And what it does is it splits the string at particular parameters. So one parameter could be, for instance, to split at every forward slash. So if a forward slash is encountered a string, to split it at that. The default parameter is a blank space. Now you could do it with the, with the quotes and then leave a blank space, or else you could just leave the parameter here blank, because that's the default parameter. So we're going to do play dot split. So, so play dot split is taking the variable here containing a string and splitting it into each separate word. So splitting it at the blank spaces. So we'll assign that to words. So we're assigning that to our list. So if I was to print words, and also I get rid of this because it doesn't no longer. You see, welcome to the IT shed. It's printed out uh, in a list, each in separate words. So to get the dots into our string, to have it like dots for each of the blank spaces, we're going to use the join method. Now join is like split, only it's the other way around. It's going to join at a particular interval, so I'm going to join it at the dots. So I'm going to create another variable here called playback. I'm going to assign that to dots, which is our variable here containing our three dots. Dot join. This is our method. So dots dot join. So join the dots. Okay. And the parameter here, I'm going to put our list words. Remember, our list is containing 
each separate word here. So I'm, what I'm doing is here, is it'll print the word, welcome, and then it'll join dots. And then print the word and join dots. So I'll put in words here. Now I'm gonna print playback. Here it is. And I'm gonna run the program. So welcome to IT Shay. As we see here, welcome dots to dot the dot IT shell. So we have completed what we were asked to do. So before we submit it to CS50 and check it, I just want to run through it one more time. So we have a variable here, play, and that's taken the input from the user. So that's written to the screen. Enter, enter some text. The user enters the text and it's stored in the variable play. We have a variable here called dots, and all dots is doing, it's just a string of three dots. Now we have a, a list called words, and it's an empty list. So we assign our variable play that's to the method dot split. So that splits this string into separate words, and that stores it in the list words. As we said, we printed it here. So. The next thing we have is a new variable called playback, and that is just to print our string. So that is connecting dots. So dots here, it's joining it using the join method. And as a parameter, we're putting in our list words. So we're joining dots with the words. So each separate one. So the text will be printed, the dots will be printed, the text will be printed. So it's joining it defaulting here at the white space. So let's submit it to CS50 and see if we are right or wrong. So there we have it, all greens. So for more about these different uh, functions and different, like the input function and uh, different methods like the split method and the join method and lists and stuff, you can just the best thing to do is just Google it. Like a lot of programming is just checking things and Googling it and tr testing it and trying it and di using different ways to come up with different ideas. So thank you for joining me in this short video and I hope I see you in the next one.